The CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Fair Crop Science. So we're here with Peter Johnson today, uh, standing at the Huron Research Station in Centralia, Ontario. We're looking at some uh, some early wheat. Peter, what stage of wheat are we at here? Yeah, so whenever you're, you're looking at a wheat field, it's important to stage it both from a weed control standpoint, a nitrogen standpoint, and also from a, a fungicide standpoint. So uh, really going into the field and being able to, uh, to, to stage that wheat is quite important. By the way, you look across this field, what a gorgeous field of wheat for the 27th of April, uh, planted the 14th of September, really drives home the point how important planting date is. But when you start looking at this wheat, staging it, growth stage 31 is a really important stage because that's the nitrogen needs to be on by growth stage 31 and weed control really should have been done by growth stage 31. So that's one of those stages it's quite important to be able to, to tell. And uh, even though we split that stem and you can do that with the knife, it's quite simple to just walk into the field and within three seconds know whether you're at growth stage 31 or not. What you need to do is feel at the base of the main stem, find a plant, feel at the base of the main stem, go to the soil level and squeeze. And if you can feel the stem crush, then you know the growing point has come above the ground. So as long as the growing point is below the ground, there is no stem. Of course, wheat stems are hollow. So if the stem doesn't crush, you know that you're not past growth stage 30. Once the stem crushes, you know that you're at growth stage 31. And so here's a plant here that I think shows that quite nicely. Uh, it's, it's one of the main stems and you can actually, if you look closely, you can see the bump here. But if you crush that stem, if you just feel that stem, you can feel it crush between your fingers. The stem is hollow, so you know for sure that, that that node has come above the ground. Then you can feel that bump in the stem. Once you feel that bump, you say, okay, that's growth stage 31. If in fact you go above that bump and you can crush that stem again, and it, again it's hollow, that means you're going into growth stage 32. So this one in particular, you can, you can just barely crush a wee bit of stem above that first node. 31 just starting to go into growth stage 32 on this particular plant so that's really advanced for this time of year okay so what times types of things should be looking at a, a plant at growth stage 31 is there early diseases coming in is there yeah. so so typically once we get into into stem elongation we would see a good canopy like this and absolutely we'd be starting to look at disease pressure and whether or not we needed that early fungicide of course in this particular situation uh, it's been so cold at night that we're not seeing very much disease here. Uh, I'll probably can find a little bit of septoria quite low in the canopy and maybe a little bit of, of mildew if we looked hard into the overlap areas. One of the key things about mildew is that almost always you will see it come where you have either doubled up your seed or doubled up your nitrogen where you get that really lush canopy is where the mildew, mildew starts. Uh, the research up to this point, and of course research is always a moving target, but it's quite intriguing. Uh, the research would say that on average we only get about a two bushel yield increase from an early fungicide, kind of in this stage or, or earlier than this even. Unless we go to more intensive management, a higher level of management where we're putting on more nitrogen, and then actually we're looking at a four bushel yield increase to a, a, a fungicide at this kind of time. In a crop like this, if it was warmer, if we get into some warm nights and some heavy dews, the disease can move quite rapidly in this canopy. So absolutely, once you get to that growth stage 31, you want to be scouting that field every three days, looking for disease and knowing what stage of development it's at.